to this corner of the living room because I wanted a little bit of a different um, view. And babies are hanging out. Joyce Anna is sleeping there. And Owen James is sleeping in the swing. Um, he's swinging. And she's on the vibrate thing. And I'm going to be changing them into their outfit of the day. Well, I answer a couple questions that I've seen that um, Fun and Frolic Nursery did a video on, and I'm very interested in joining the discussion. I think it's an awesome idea for channels to have um, discussion topics, and it's a really good way for the Reborn community to interact um, with each other. So, that being said, I'm going to make my little place on the floor, and I'm going to get the babies into their outfit of the day. And then um, I'll be right back once I put something down. Okay, so my good sis did a video for discussion on... Oh, these pants will also go with that as well. Look at that. This looks really big. It is a zero to three, though. So the topic of discussion is limited edition and oak o o a k what do they mean to you so before i start i need to find her other sock so i got one here where did it go oh my goodness hang on a second i'm sorry Alrighty, so I was sitting on mystery sock, the disappearance of the mystery sock. I am just going to aim you guys a little bit more downwards there. Okay, so the topic for discussion is limited edition and oak, and what does that mean to you? So, um, I'm just going to start changing her and talk about it. And I will put the link to the description of uh, Fun and Frolic Nurseries video down below so that you can see that um, discussion, her discussion as well. And then I'll go to her video and comment um, my video link because that's what she said to do. So you'll be able to watch the original video. So we all know that limited edition means it's like Owen James, he's limited edition. He's like one out of so many made Limit is limited edition. It's just a certain number of babies made and then they don't make no more. That's limited edition. Now, Oak, one of a kind, now I'm just shortening up the definitions here, is being that they make the baby, they pour it in a mold, they make the baby into vinyl or silicone or whatever, and then they break the mold and they don't make no more of that baby at all. That's the definition of oak, which is one of a kind. So. To me, that's like the real definition. So to me, it's okay, Lilo. To me, uh, limited edition means to me that, you know, there's only so many babies made and then they're gonna stop making them, stop producing them, and that's it. There's only, say, set of 500 said babies made and then they're not gonna make any more of that baby. And once they're, God bless you, Willow. And once they're sold out, they're sold out, that's it, that's all, no more. You can buy them as pre-loved babies. That's what limited edition means to me, is the original definition. My uh, dog, Willow, is excited because she wants to play because it is her birthday on Tuesday, but we are having a party for her on Monday. That being said, she's very excited, so <laughs> Willow, relax. Sorry, guys. Okay, so now, I didn't powder this diaper first. The OOAK, o -O -A -K, the one-of-a-kind oak, to me, 
means something a little bit different than it, it, it originally means, like, as if you were to look it up, the true meaning of it. So to me, oak, Joyce Anna is an oak, and Owen James is an oak. Not necessarily their sculpts, because there is other Anna sculpts, and there is other uh, Sleeping Thomas's sculpts, but he is a limited edition. So Owen James is a limited edition, but their painting is oak because it is one of a kind. I mean, even if I were to get the, the artist of Joyce Anna, Agnes Wozni, to make me another Anna, which Joyce Anna is an Anna by Pat Moulton. I hope I said that right. Um, even if I got her to make me another Anna, she could never make me another kit exact same as Joyce Anna. Even if she tried to make a twin, something, something would be different. Like, the rooting wouldn't be exact same. They're not, they're not factory made by machines. It's human, uh, human made, human art. And each one is individually different and there will never be another one the same. So to me, Joyce Anna and Owen James are oak, one of a kind, because there will never ever be another Joyce Anna and there will never ever be another Owen James. I got messed up for a second because this onesie only has Willow, Willow. This onesie only has two buttons on it, so it messed me up for a second. Hang on a second, y'all. She's really excited. So that being said, I'm going to put on her socks now. To me, Joyce Anna is an oak, even though her sculpt is probably, they're probably still making the Anna sculpt. Um... They may even still be making the Sleeping Thomas sculpt. I'm not sure if they're finished making them. I know Owen James is a certain number. I think there was only 1,400 of him made or something like that. I can, um, I can Google the details if you want to know. Just leave it in the comments. Or even you could Google the details of the Sleeping Thomas sculpt. He is, he is a limited edition. Um, but to me, Joyce Anna is oak and Owen James is oak. They are one of a kind. Um, there will never be another one that looks exactly like them with the same, um, even if she painted the same skin tone and rooted the same blonde mohair and did everything exactly the same that she did for Joyce Anna, there would never be another Joyce Anna. And if I got Joe Berlin, to make me another Sleeping Thomas, as much as she tried, she could not do exactly the same because reborning, I'm just tucking her in like this because it works, <laughs> reborning is a form of art and just like you could never have the same painting, something in the painting will always be different unless it's factory made. In even factory made stuff, there's little flaws and stuff. I'm sure not every hair on a factory made doll is the same. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but that is how I feel about that. That was shorter than I thought. Because <laughs> I wanted to do it while I dress them. And Joy Santa is dressed. <laughs> um, well then. Okay. Moving on, she looks really good in gray. So I have this weekend off and Monday is a civic holiday here. So I don't work on it on uh, holidays, any holidays, civic, Christmas, anything like that, I don't work. Um, so I have a long weekend. So today my husband and I went out to a place called the West Garden Buffet and had Chinese for lunch and it was really good and I really enjoyed myself and had a really nice time with him. This hat's a little bit big on her so I'm just gonna do it up in the back. I like twist it a little bit like that. There. 
So I had a really nice time with my husband at um, the West Gardens. It was a really good meal. It's all you can eat lunch buffet and we had some fun. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing crafts with my cousin and we'll be having fun there at my aunt's house. So this weekend is going to be an awesome weekend. I'm going to try and make more videos. Um, I'm going to try and work on my nursery slash craft room a little bit. Uh, as soon as I'm done here and I'm going to get Owen James changed, we are going to be watching a movie we bought today um, called Mount Everest. And it's based on a true story of the people trying to climb Mount Everest. And now... I am going to show you all, not me because I'm in my pajamas, Joyce Anna's outfit. I'll put this in here. And the soother goes with it too. So there she be in all her beautifulness. She got this cute little hat on with the hearts. She got hugs make me happy. Can you see her? Oh, you can't see her really well. Oops. Okay, I'm going to pick y'all up. So there she be. In her little heart hat. Her butterfly pacifier. With her hugs make me happy. And her little pants. And her new shoes. She is all dolled up. Literally. So I'm going to put her in the swing. And I'm going to grab Mr. Mister there and get him done. Oh, it feels so good to hold my babies after a week of work. Like sometimes a couple, maybe a couple days I'll get to hold them, but other days I don't get to hold them at all. And it just feels much better. Oh, Rob gave the dogs another cookie. And it just feels much better to be able to hold my sweet babies. I'm trying to unbuckle Owen out of this seat while holding on to Joyce Anna. To grab him up. Oh, big boy. To stick him down here. I know he looks like Einstein. He has sleepy boy hair. Stick little Miss Beautiful here in the swing because I am going to take pictures after because I love posting pictures of my babies. I belong to quite a few Facebook reborn groups. Look at that. That is so cute. I wish they had like boy bows. I actually had um, a blue bow for my dog and I called it his boy bow. And yes, I put a blue bow in Max's hair. I did. So anyways, as I was saying, I belong to quite a few Facebook groups. So I like um, taking lots of pictures of the babies and posting them in my Facebook groups and as well as on my personal Facebook um, page. I don't mind sharing. Um, everybody knows about my babies and I always say, you know what, if you don't like looking at pictures of the babies, just scroll on by. Not everybody is into reborns. It's not a thing for everybody. That's okay, we're all different, because if we were all the same, my, what a boring world it would be, for one. And for two, we would all be fighting over similar things, because we would all be the same, we would all like the same things, we would all want the same things. So I'm going to change his diaper here, and then go watch a movie. Have some Doritos, a chocolate bar, and a can of Coke with my husband. That diaper's still good. So, and I was at the uh, dollar store today and I didn't grab up any powder. I am starting to run halfway out. Like I got half this bottle left. And then that's it. That's all. 
But I do, um, like I said, I do want to order some of those uh, Wonder Wafers and do my little plan of sewing a little satchel pouch for them. Maybe like a, uh, a netted one, like really thin material. And then because the babies always wear a base onesie, I could just safety pin it to the onesie and then it wouldn't be against them because it does get humid here and I wouldn't want the blue to go on their, their bodies. But I do love the powder smell. Don't I, handsome? All right, let's get you dressed. Surprisingly, it is chilly. It went, only went up to 19 today. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit for my U.S. buddy o pals. But it was 19 Celsius here today, so I did wear pants. So the babies are wearing pants, and I know I'm getting them dressed, and it's like 9.30 at night, but that's the way we roll because it's fun. Yes. And I'm planning my little baby girl's birthday party. She's going to be two on Tuesday. But like I said, we're celebrating on Monday. Our sweet little willow. I call her my princess flower. She's on the couch eating her cookie. Yep. Had her since she was just about five weeks old. My husband bought her for me. For a zero to three months, this fits them really good. And what I've been doing, if the onesies are a bit long, it's okay. Um, because Joy Santa has three quarter legs. Owen James has full legs and three quarter arms. But this is what I do if they're too big. And I'm going to try and move up a little bit so you can see. When I put their pants on is I pull them up like that. Right? And then I just tuck them under like that. So, it looks like that. And I think that's pretty awesome. It still looks like a onesie. I just kind of invented that myself. I don't know if anybody else does it, but if your onesie's big and baggy like that, see how biggy baggy it is on him? Like this fits him perfect, but that's big and baggy. Just like grab it by the baggy part. Pull it up. So you're like folding it inside itself. See, it's just folded inside itself. Do it all the way around and then fold it down and tuck it in like so. Just a little neat tips. And hang on a second, y'all. Little neat tips and tricks I do with the babies that I'm learning. Just like that. I'm going to put y'all back up here so I can put his pants on. I know they'll be a little bit big on him, but that's okay. Oh, i got to put his socks on. Like I do with their socks. If their socks are big, which these aren't, they fit him perfectly, actually. When I put their socks on, I'll take... Where is it? If I put their socks on and the socks are big, I'll take the toe of the sock and tuck it under the foot like that and then put in the shoe. But these socks fit him perfect. It's like they were made for him. Yes. And my husband is amazing at finding outfits for the babies. And I originally was gonna take $20 and go to Once Upon a Child. And then I seen these there and I'm like, oh, well, I guess it doesn't, I allow myself $20 out of a pay to spend on clothes so it doesn't matter where I get it, right? And then I just pull this up like that. Because it's a little big. So if you want to make it look like it's a shirt that's tucked in, you can pull it up out of the pants basically undo what you did. My dog is crawling on my back because she's excited because I keep saying party. Yes! Your birthday! And then just fold it over like that and it looks like just a tucked in, a tucked in shirt. So that is that and I gotta 
comb his little Einstein hair here. Yes, you always get the Einsteins. I love his hair. I wish there was a way I could kiss, curl it, or style it differently. Maybe one day I'll just swirl it and leave it like that. That's kind of cute, right? Just a little, little swirl. I could spike it, but I don't want to cut it. I'm not going to cut it to be able to spike it because I like it like that. I could just brush it this way and swirl it. You have the little, little swirl look going on if he wasn't wearing a hat, or I could even do a little mohawk look. Oh, the cat and dog are playing. But for now, he's going to wear a hat. Oh, there's a sock in it. For now, he's going to wear a hat. I love him in that hat. He looks so awesome. And he's not going to wear shoes. He's going to wear his because we're just going to pretend it's morning and we're getting ready for the day. Yes. We're just pretending it's morning and we're getting ready for the day. Oh, those fit him so well, y'all. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. So I'm going to take pictures of them now so I can go watch a movie with my husband. So here is Mr. Mister and all his handsomeness with his hat. And is this what handsome looks like? And I did that to make it look like it's just a tucked in shirt. But it is a onesie, his pants, and his cute little slippers. So we bid you all a good night, evening, afternoon, morning, or whatever time of day it is you're watching this. And remember to always, always smile. It's the only good thing that's contagious and can cross any language barrier. We love you, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.